My specialty is movement disorders. So uh, what that includes is basically patients with uh, tremors, such as the ones who have Parkinson's disease, or uh, other forms of tremors, essential tremor, or commonly known as benign um, familial tremor, or even other causes of tremors could be induced by medications, etc. Some of the rarer uh, diseases like Huntington's disease, um, we even see, uh, I even see uh, patients who have dystonia where, you know, which is an abnormality which involves turning in and assuming abnormal postures with their um, extremities or, you know, parts of their body. So it's, it's a fairly diverse field where we um, see a whole host of patients with different kind of movement problems. We have a excellent deep brain stimulation program over here at uh, Georgia Health Sciences University. Um, I do the deep brain stimulation, I, I do the programming, and even before we get to that, we get a lot of patients uh, referred with Parkinson's disease with essential tremor for deep brain stimulation or commonly known as DBS from other places. And I do the screening for the patients to see that if they would be good candidates for that. What deep brain stimulation involves is basically putting in two electrodes into their, into their brain and it's connected by a wire to a, a battery. Basically looks like a pacemaker, you wouldn't be able to uh, tell the difference. And it sends small currents into their brain and it improves their Parkinson's symptoms or their tremors significantly. The feedback that I get from my patients is that they like the fact that you know, I, I sit down with them, they don't feel rushed. Uh, they feel that they can take the time to tell me what, what ails them and we come up with a plan together as a team. I don't impose anything on them, you know. I, I involve, I try to involve them in their own care.